So let's go through unit two, lesson two. All right. Uh, consider the graph of some function that's made up of several line segments. And let's answer the questions that follow. Uh, let's see here. F of zero is four thirds. That's kind of a, you could misread that as being F of zero being a three, uh, three over two or 1.5. But how do you figure out exactly what it is? The only way you can figure out exactly what that is, and I have that on the next page of this, is to actually come up with an equation for CD and put zero in. There's other ways that you could do it, but I've done it on the second page. And what I've done is I figured out how, because if I look below here and it's asking for the y-intercept, the y-intercept is that point, it happens to be zero four thirds. So this guy here is four thirds. How did you get that, Lee? Let me show you. So keep in mind, this point here was negative one, two. This point here is two comma zero. What I'm going to do is come up with a linear representation using point slope form of the of that line. So if I look at this and I'm going to call it CD because it's CD, that CD is going to be Y is equal to two that. And what is the slope? I'm going to use stickman to find the slope of that line. The slope is down two over three. So the slope is negative two thirds. X minus negative one, which is X plus one. And that's the equation of this portion of this function. Now I'm going to put zero into that and that's gonna pop out four thirds, I hope. So let's go here. If I put zero into that, well, what's zero plus one? One. So what is six thirds minus two thirds? Six thirds, which is two minus two thirds, is indeed four thirds. And that's why this point right here is zero comma four thirds. Okay, so let's go F of zero. We know four thirds, F of negative six. F of negative six is easy. It's that point right there is going to be negative two. This would, this particular question is testable as well. F of three, is F of three positive or negative? And they did not tell you to find F of three. They just want to know is F of three positive or negative. And there's a reason why we're doing that and that's to prepare you for calculus. So where is F of three? F, I don't know. Oh yes, I do. This is three. That F of three is gonna be that Y value, correct? And I could find that, but that's F of three. Is F of three positive or negative? It is positive. Why is it positive? because f of three is above the x axis. And that seems like to a math teacher, that's like, well, duh. But to a math student at this point, I don't think you've ever been asked to think about, how you have, but you maybe you just haven't. F of three is a y value. This is a y value. That y value is above the x axis. That's why f of three is positive. In like manner, f of negative four, which is this value right here, this is f of negative four, bam, right? Because that's negative four, f of negative four. And that is a y value. What y value is it? It's that y value there. Nobody asks you to find it. They're just, well, is it positive or negative? And it is negative, why? Because f of negative four is below the x-axis. Solve this equation, what x value is such that f of x is equal to three? x is nine, why? Because f of nine is three. 
f of 9, doop, this point right there is 9, comma, 3. Or 9, comma, f of 9. And f of 9 is 3. Okie dokie, what are the x-intercepts? The x-intercepts uh, of that Growalt, heck, what's the domain? The domain is going to be from negative 6 to negative 9. Ooh, let's go yellow, negative 6 to negative 9. And the range looks like it's negative 2 to 3. And I didn't put the range down there. Some students have trouble picking out the domain and range. And we will list the range here. And at any time you want to pause the video, go ahead. The range is going to be y such that y is, ne was it negative 2? 3? Is that what it was? Yeah, yeah. I don't know my list. Here it is. Okay, that's fine. I don't know why that. Yeah. Yes, it is two, negative 2 to 3. Yes, it is. That's the range. What are the x-intercepts? The x-intercepts are going to be negative 3, comma, 0. Bam. 2, comma, 0. Oh, it's this point right here, but keep in mind, it looks like that's 5.5, but we better check that, especially if it's an assessment, because if this was an assessment, Somebody might try to trip you up, and it might be like 5.6, but that is 5.5, but how do I know that? What I'm going to do is come up with the equation for EF. I'm going to come up with the equation for EF, and I'm going to find out where EF is equal to zero. I will do that on the next page. Here's EF. EF... Well, obviously, the point 4, 1 is on EF, and it has a slope of negative 2 thirds. Let's check that. If I go back to my graph, well, this is the point right here that I was speaking of, 4, 1. I could have used this point here, 7, negative 1, but I didn't. I used 4, 1, and the slope down 2 over 3, negative two-thirds, and I'm going to use point-slope form, down two over three, x minus four, point-slope form. I want to find that where that is zero at, dot, dot, dot. You can, and then I just solved where that was zero for x, and x is actually 5.5. Five. So be careful on an assessment Someone might try to trip you up, myself and or Mr. O'Brien, just to see if you can write the equation of a line. Might be a two-part question. In like manner, keep in mind, I will post this video. There will be questions over this, then there's going to be questions over this next week on the big giant quarterly that will be over the next lesson as well quadratics the next question was hey well what is this is that 7.5 and we're going to solve that in the same way we're going to find the equation for fg and again on f well not again i use 7 comma negative 1 and it has a slope of 2 obviously the line segment FG has that equation. I solve it for zero, dot, dot, dot. X is equal to 15 halves, which is 7.5. There's no use in me doing this simple algebra with you. The last thing we're going to talk about for this particular... I'll do that quick, sorry. The last important thing from this particular lesson is where is that function where is that increasing or decreasing it's increasing if the, when the x is increased if the y's increase so that thing is increasing from 
negative 6 to negative 1, and from 2 to 4, and from 7 to 5. So it's increasing from here to here, it's increasing from here to here, and it's increasing from here to here. Can you do that on an assessment? So that's where that rascal is increasing from negative 6 to negative 1, 2 to 4, and 7 to 9. Now, there was a typo on this particular assignment, and the typo was, I didn't want you to ask the same question twice. Name the x interval where the function decreases, i.e. going down, i.e. when the x increase, the y's decrease. And I think this guy decreases from here to here, and from here to here. Can you do that on an assessment? I think you can. Is there another question over that? 